issues and problems related to human sexuality. Our lesson objectives identifies the different issues or concerns in human sexuality. Analyze why abstinence is the most effective method for the prevention of STIs such as HIV AIDS. Apply decision-making skills in managing sexually related issues or challenges. Good day, grade 8 learners! I am teacher Francesca Bayona, your health teacher for today. Today is another day of new learnings as I will teach you a very interesting topic that you teenagers should be aware of. We are now in our second lesson in first quarter health. After learning about gender and human sexuality, you will now be introduced to issues and problems related to human sexuality. Before we proceed to our lesson, let's have first a pre-assessment activity. All you have to do is to unlock acronyms and symbols. Are you ready? Great! Now let's start! What is STI? Very good! STI means sexually transmitted infection. Next. What is HIV? Very good! HIV means Human Immunodeficiency Virus. How about AIDS? Excellent! AIDS stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. And last one, I have here a picture. So, have you seen this picture? Correct! This picture means HIV awareness. Great job, everyone! Now, let's define what is STI. Sexually transmitted infection, or also known as Sexually transmitted disease, STD, is a communicable disease that is spread by a pathogen, an organism, or bacteria that causes disease to our body. STIs can be transmitted from one person to another through sexual contact and non-sexual contact. There are four body fluids known to transmit STI or HIV. Those are blood, semen, vaginal or cervical fluid, and breast milk. What are the signs and symptoms of STIs? Susunod na programa ay Rated PG. Ito ay nangangailangan ng patnubay at gabay ng magulang para sa mga batang manunood. Common Signs and Symptoms of STIs There are many different STIs and there are many signs that mean you may have contracted one. The sign and symptom may depend on the type of its infection. The signs and symptoms are discharge from the genital, rashes, warts, painful urination, blisters or sores in the genital area, and flu-like symptoms. Five common sexually transmitted infection. So there are 
five common sexually transmitted infections. The first one is chlamydia. Its causative agent or the disease-causing organism is called Chlamydia trachomatis bacterium. So its long-term effects in women are pelvic inflammation with abdominal pain, fever menstrual building, ectopic pregnancy, and its long-term effects in male are enlarged lymph glands of the groin, infection of the testicles, and infection during birth that can cause blindness or illness in newborn. Second is genital herpes. Its causative agent is called herpes simplex 2 virus. If left untreated, it may cause cervical cancer in women and for pregnant, it can cause deformities in unborn babies. Third is gonorrhea. It is caused by the pathogen Dyseria gonorrhea bacteria. And its long term effects are sterility, fever disease, testicular disease, infection of the heart mighty, and eye infection for newborn leading to blindness. The fourth one is syphilis. And its pathogen is called Trebonema halidum bacterium. If this STI is left untreated, it can lead to mental illness, heart and kidney damage, and worse, is death. The last one, which is the most known STI, is called acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, or also known as AIDS. It is a fatal communicable disease with no known treatment or cure. It is the final stage of infection caused by HIV or human immunodeficiency virus. So when the HIV enters the human body, it attacks the body's immune system. Thus, the body becomes vulnerable to opportunistic infections or diseases that leads to immune system failure, severe illness causing to death, and infection of infants causing to death. And among the opportunistic infections are Kaposi's sarcoma. It is a rare but deadly type of skin cancer. Recurrent pneumonia. And toxoplasmosis within the brain. The early symptoms of HIV are rashes, sore throat, fever, and tiredness. Nearly everyone with HIV develops AIDS. People with AIDS cannot fight off diseases that healthy people could easily resist because until now, AIDS has no cure. People with AIDS eventually die from one of these diseases. Question! Do you think there is any possibility that we can prevent STIs? The good news is yes! STIs can be prevented. But how? What should we do? Have one sexual partner. C. Correct and consistent use of condom and safer sex practices. D. Do not inject drugs. And E. Education and early detection. Now, let's assess what we have learned from today's lesson.
I prepared a 5-item formative test. This is a multiple choice exam. Make sure you will answer it honestly. Are you ready? Great! Now let's start! Number 1. It is a communicable disease that is spread by a pathogen, disease-causing organism. A. STI B. AIDS C. Cancer Number 2. Which of the following is not a way to acquiring STI? A. Blood B. Breast milk C. Saliva Number 3. What is the only certain way to prevent STI? A. Abstinence B. Sexual contact or C. Unprotected sexual activity Number 4. It is a fatal communicable disease with no effective treatment or known cure. A. HIV B. AIDS C. STI And number 5. It is the ability to say no to unhelpful practices. A. Refusal skills B. Communication skills or C. Creative skills Did you get a perfect score? Very good! Thank you for today, Grade 8 learners! I hope all of you have learned something today. Thank you so much and see you next time! Bye!